All right, my fishy friends, the last time we were together, we cut out our fish, and um, some of you even got so much as you put um, a pipe cleaner in there to help it out. What I've done since then is try to get this thing moving along by stapling it. If you look here, you'll see on this one, I did a ridge of staples going across here, and then I went across the top. Their pipe cleaner is in there, which will allow us to give it some uh, motion. And eventually we will paint these a little bit to cover up those staples. We also have staples going on your back fin as well, so you are styling on his tail. Now, here's what we're gonna be doing today. We actually now need for you to actually start sewing with a needle. And for that, you are gonna learn how to thread a needle today and how to do a little bit of sewing. The reason that we need to sew is because we need to put this part right here where your eyeball is eventually gonna go and it's gonna be the top of the head. If you look right here, you can see that this is the top fin that needs to get trimmed and where I've sewn here to put it together all the way down to the belly. Now, when you look down here, you're gonna notice that I have added this squinty eyeball looking thing, kind of a skinny eyeball. Now, what is gonna happen is that because it's wider here in the middle, it's going to give the illusion that your fish has an actual belly as opposed to if we had just taken it and sewn it together on the bottom, then it would just kind of look almost like a fish pillow. We want it to actually look like a fish. So let me show you, um, I've taken the time to pin this for you. Um, straight pins are a nice friend because they hold things in place for you. So um, what you're gonna be seeing here is that I've pinned it here. This is uh, this pin going sideways like this is gonna be a sign of getting into the danger zone. I will explain that in a minute. And then if you actually tip it up, you'll see that I have pinned that um, long piece right there um, ready for you to sew that. So we will talk about that in just a minute. What we are going to first start off with is how do you thread a needle? If this was your thread right here, you, there's um, oh, there's a gazillion ways you could do it, but I think the easiest way would be that you've got your needle, and I'm gonna make this look so big, easy, because it's super sized right now. You're just gonna take this, you're gonna line it up, you'll put it through the hole of the needle, and you will go ahead and pull it through, and you'll be on your merry way. Another way that you could do this, way my grandma taught me, you take your needle, you put it around the needle like this, right close to your fingers. You slide out the needle, and now you have this little cute little loop-de-loop. -loop. Holding that nice and pinchy, you slide that little pinchy thing through the hole of your needle, and again, you bring it through. Now, what do you do once you have it finished like this? Well, I don't want you to worry about here, and I don't want you to tie a knot over on this end. Where you are going to be tying a knot is over here. You're actually gonna take those two ends, once you can find your end, here we go. You're gonna take those two ends and we need to tie them. Now, a lot of times when kids see two strings, they start to pretend like they're tying a shoelace and doing this kind of thing where they go like this and then they're gonna do another one. That is not how I want you to tie a knot. Here's what you're gonna do instead. You're gonna take the two ends of your thread, and remember, this is the, same, the two ends that lead all the way back here to my needle. Do you see that? So the needle, it's wrapped around my needle here, and then it comes all the way over to here. So I have these two ends, they're even. You are going to make a loop so in supersize vision, it's gonna look like this. The two are being looped. You're gonna take this and you're gonna put it up through the little loopy loopy. Grab those two ends and pull. And you're gonna end up with a knot. That's what we want. Now, when you have a big tail like this, sometimes it's annoying. Don't ever cut it all the way right to here because it'll, your knot will probably come apart. Just do it a little bit away so that you still have a little tail and you have your knot, okay? Now, let's get ridiculous. This is now what we're dealing with. Things got smaller. You're going to take 
some thread. It's gonna be about the length of your arm, maybe a little longer, okay? You cut it off. You may have to wait for other people to finish with their thread. Here is our piece of thread, much tinier than before. Now, do you see how it's just a little bit frayed on the end? Something you can do is put it in your mouth. Just put a little bit of uh, your lovely spit on there and then just take your finger and kind of pinch it. That will make it nice and pointy. So what you're gonna do now is take your needle. You're gonna find that little opening. You can come back from behind and try and do it. Let me see if I can angle this just right. That I'd come up from behind and line it up and bring it through. If you notice that it's frayed on the end a little bit, just give it a fresh, a fresh cut if you're getting frustrated. Don't cut off tons, but just a little bit to give yourself a nice fresh point. And you're gonna go and just slide it through the hole. Now let me show you my grandma method. My, the needle, wrap it around the needle like here. Pull it out so you have this tiny little thingy there and then take your needle and just slide it right over that thing. And then it comes through. One way or another, you're gonna figure it out. I haven't had a single fifth grader not be able to do it, so I know, I know you'll be able to do it. Now, you're gonna end up with all the string. You're gonna be like, where am I in this thing? You're just gonna keep moving it over, moving it over until you find those two ends. You'll take your two ends like so and then remember you're going to loop it take these two ends and put it in through the back and pull you're gonna end up with a knot you don't have to pull it super hard when you pull it super hard it gets really small and then sometimes it pulls through your felt so just kind of do loosey-goosey and then go ahead and take your scissors and trim it we're gonna stop right there once you've got your um, needle on here and you have your thread with your knot, you're going to hold it by that knot there and just pull, pull, pull until you get it here so that your thread is uh, really nice right here on your needle. Now, your needle is to be used to go into your felt, nothing else. Don't try and prick your finger or anything like that. If you'd like to do that, then you can sit in Mr. Lopez's office and explain to him why you put a needle in your finger on purpose. But anyway, I digress. Today, you are going to start. Where are you going to start? Are you going to start here? Here? By the mouth? On the bottom? Blah, blah, blah. You are going to start right here by the fin. On the top, by the fin. Not on the bottom, not over here, not over here, not over here, but right here, okay? I'm going to turn it like this so that you can see it. I'm going to start right here, right where my last little staple is, right here. And here's a straight pin holding things in place. Now, I'm going to poke the needle through the felt, just like that. Notice that I poked it through pretty close to the edge, but I made sure that it was going through both sides. Here are two things you want to avoid. You don't want to poke in super low. Do you see how low that is? And you don't want to poke up, poke in so high that you actually miss the side on the back. Do you see that? So, uh, you'll figure it out. So you're just gonna poke in a little bit, and for this very first time, when you po pull it through, you're gonna pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. And you're gonna see that you're kinda coming towards your knot. You are gonna go around, back where you started from. So my thread came through this side, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go in right where I started from the beginning and I'm gonna go through again and pull, 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 okay? So now I have a stitch that's basically going around my felt. It's going from this side of my fish to that side. Now I'm gonna hold it like this with my fish in my left hand and my needle in my right hand and I'm, I'm gonna hold it like this I know I just did a stitch right here, so now I'm gonna move over about this far. Oops, about this far. I'm gonna pull it. Pull, 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 pull. And I'm done, I'm not gonna yank on it. Now, my, my thread is coming out the top, so I'm gonna take my needle, 
and I'm going to go back underneath and through. Do you see it here? I'm going to pull, 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 pull. Yay for me. I'm going to come back around under. I'm going to come up and pull, 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 pull. And now I am up to the part where I said was danger, danger. There's a couple of things that are going to tell you it's time to slow down. Number one, you're going to see this straight pin sticking out and you're going to be thinking, why did Mrs. Mr. Seatrix put that there? Number two, you're going to wonder, should I take it out? Nah, not yet. Number three, you're going to notice all of a sudden that you have three layers of felt instead of two. Ha ha. Hopefully one of those things will alert your brain to just take a break for just a second. And here's what you're going to do. You now have sewn together the top part of your fish head. Now we're rounding the corner where his mouth is and heading this way. And this time, we are only going to sew this side of it. Later on, we'll sew this to this piece over here. But for right now, we're just going to do this. So when you get to that straight pin that I'm telling you is danger, danger, all you need to do, and I can come over and help you if you want to, is just lift, flip it up a little bit here, and now you're going to continue to sew just these two together. Do not start to sew all three layers. That would be disastrous. So check it out. I got my needle. I'm right here at, this, at, the, at the danger thing. I can see right here it's warning me that we're about to go to three layers. And this time I'm going to sneak right underneath here and I'm going to put my needle through and pull. Okay? Now, depending on how you like to hold your fabric, you're probably gonna figure it out. Like I said before, my, all my classes have been figuring this out, so I know you will too. What you do is you are gonna go under one of these threads that you did before and then you're just going to put this through the loop and pull and it's going to make a little knot okay i'm going to tell you right now if you just cut it and didn't even knot it you're still going to be fine on this project at least don't do it if you're sewing a button on your shorts but for this project you're going to be fine so don't don't stress too much now let's go back i can get rid of this straight pin since i've sewn past that I can get past, I can get rid of this straight pin because that was my danger zone thing. And I'm doing a great job. I'm sewing this part right here. It's going to be attached right here. And my job is to get all the way over to here. And then when you have one of these loops, you're just going to put the needle through there and then pull. If that's tough for you, I'll, I'll take care of you. Now trim it. And you're on for your next step.